Hi everyone and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Um, I was going to start this on Saturday but I had a bit of a stressful weekend. Basically my laptop died and it's refusing to turn on so I got a little bit stressed this weekend because all of my stuff is on it and all of my video editing software. So that meant I couldn't really do any video editing which means I've got a lot to do later on this week after I've re-recorded some videos. But I did get a lot of reading done and so I'm currently in the middle of three books and I wanted to tell you about them. The first one is Rosewater which I'm still in the middle of. I've read another 100 pages today at lunchtime and it's awful. Um, <laughs> there's been another sex scene, this time it was equally unnecessary and the plot just isn't going anywhere and I'm only continuing to read this because I need to recap it for recap tints otherwise I would have put it down ages ago because it's one of those books I would DNF if it wasn't in a series. This is a sci-fi book set in Nigeria in 2066. The main character can read people's thoughts and it's all based around this alien biodome that is in this town called Rosewater in Nigeria and the locals are all obsessed with this alien biodome. And that so far is about it. <laughs> the main character is working for the government and he's doing stuff for them, he's trying to find someone for them. And that's all that's going on there. I'm also still in the middle of Circle of Shadows. I haven't read any more of that since I started it last week at work. And that's a YA fantasy which is coming out in the US next week. So I need to finish that off this week at some point. So that's also one of my plans. And I have finally started The City of Brass. And I'm so excited for this. I'm only 40 pages in so far because I started it last night in bed. And I'm really enjoying the writing style. I have been told that it's quite slow to start so I'm going to give it some time before it gets going but it's really good so far. It's a fantasy book set in Cairo in the 17th century and the main character seems to be part djinn and then she starts summoning djinns and demons and stuff and that's about it so far but I'm really enjoying it and the sequel comes out tomorrow as in choose this Tuesday as I'm recording this so I'm a bit late to recap it but I'm getting there. I feel like this thing's kind of wonky, so I'm probably gonna have to sort this out before I start recording a video, which is what I'm about to do now. But I wanted to give you a reading update. It's currently Thursday, and my reading this week hasn't been going too well because I have been stressed as hell. I mentioned in my last clip, which I think was on Monday, that my blog died, recaptains died, and my laptop died all within two days of each other. My laptop is now working again because the IT department from my company where I work are absolutely lovely and they fixed it for me for free. So that's all working except I don't have anything installed. <laughs> I have thankfully got an amazing boyfriend and he let me install all of my editing software and profile and stuff on his laptop. So that's how this video is happening. So I'll be using that until I have time to get my own laptop up and running again, get everything installed and set up the way that I like it. Books of Amber, my blog, is kind of okay. I'm still having trouble getting into the admin page and that's not working, so that's a pain. And I'm really freaking annoyed with my host because I called them up to ask if there were any issues with the hosting because I was having like major problems connecting and I was getting these 500 internal server errors and they basically said didn't look into it just said no can you please pay 175 pounds no sorry it was 95 pounds for like an app or something that would look into it for me and then an extra 100 pounds to then pay for a malware scanner and I was like no you haven't even looked into the hosting issue which is what i was calling for that's all i needed and they just went straight off onto this like promotion for their products that they wanted me to buy and i'm not paying 200 pounds on top of everything i'm already paying them for them to do something that i can do myself i literally just wanted to know if it was a host problem because they had been updating stuff and they brushed me off and started trying to get me to pay for stuff so I'm going to move hosts at some point um in the very near future because my subscription with my current host expires in March I think so I'm looking into some new hosts and that'll be sorted in February and then there's recaptains which is kind of working and kind of not it's like a whole thing so that is stressing me out so much and I haven't been reading I've been trying to fix everything in the evenings after work for the past few days thankfully things are looking up um books of amber and recaptains are both kind of working that I'm still getting a couple of errors with some things but they're on the mend and obviously my laptop is working ish so as for my reading updates um i have nearly finished rosewater thank god because it's awful 
I am 260 pages in and I think it's about 380 pages. There's still no plot. There's absolutely nothing happening. The main character works for the government and that's basically all I know about him apart from he has a very strange sexual relationship with someone he's never met in person. But the sequel comes out this year so I feel like it's kind of my duty <laughs> to carry on and recap it because I don't think any of my followers would help contribute for this one because no one wants to read it. I'm also still in the middle of Circle of Shadows. I have read maybe 40% of it. I'm not enjoying it. Again, only reading it so I can recap it for recaptains. I'm hoping to finish that by the end of this week so that I can get it out of the way. But on a much happier note, I am really enjoying the third book that I'm currently reading and that is The City of Brass. I'm only 85 ish pages into this because like I said I haven't really been reading this week so I've been stressed. I'm loving the writing style. Nothing's really happened yet admittedly. The main character has summoned a demon and what I think is like a djinn and she has gone off with the djinn and we've also met a second main character which is something I wasn't expecting because I thought this was just going to be told from from the girl's point of view but it's actually told from another person's point of view as well His name's Ali and he is a prince and I think he's also a djinn or there are a ton of like different terms that I don't really understand yet because there's, there has been a lot thrown at me and I don't think there's a glossary at the back. Let me just double check that. Oh no, 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 there is. So these djinn are also called Deva, but it's the exact same thing but the author kind of uses them both. So it's a little bit confusing but I'm hoping to read a lot more this evening now that I'm less stressed and I will hopefully be able to fly through this one once I'm actually like into the meaty part of it because the writing style is very very gripping Ooh, <laughs> don't know what happened there sorry the writing style is very gripping considering i've been reading it on and off for the past couple of evenings so my plans for this evening are to record a few videos because i'm behind i haven't been recording anything i also need to edit my video that's going to go up on tomorrow <laughs> so you will have already seen it by the time this vlog goes up and i also need to start researching for my february new releases post video which is going to go up in a couple of weeks and then I also need to read some more for the secret project that I'm doing <laughs> and I'm hoping to get a chance to fly through that this weekend because at the moment I'm really enjoying it but these past couple of days have kind of thrown me off and I was doing so well with it but now I've got some stuff to do like extra stuff it makes sense to me it will make sense to you once you see the video hey everyone thank god it is Friday and I've never been, well, I probably have been, but as far as I can remember, I've never been so happy to see the end of the week. Ignore what my camera's doing. It's um, adjusting for low light, but it keeps not recognizing my face because I got it at a funny angle. Anyway, so reading wise, I haven't done much since we last spoke, but I am about to embark on an epic reading adventure challenge. It's not really going to be epic to start with because I need to finish Rosewater. I haven't read any more of it since I last spoke to you. I plan on smashing through it this evening. I've got 100 pages left roughly and since I'm not really enjoying it I'm probably just going to skim read the rest make some notes for recaptains and then be done with it. And then once that is done I'm planning on uploading a video. Um, I can upload it now, I just need to edit my thumbnail and things, so that's on my to-do list. And then I'm going to read a bit more of The City of Brass. I read a few more pages last night, so I'm now up to page 110. <laughs> 100, I was too optimistic. I'm up to page 100, and again, nothing much is happening so far, but because I like the writing style so much, I am really excited. And I think tonight I can probably manage a good 100 pages because I haven't been, I'm not going to be interrupted basically. Quill's at the pub and I didn't want to go because I don't want to hang out with work people after work right now. And so this is what I'm going to try to read tonight. I think I can manage it and I'm also going to read part of my book for my super secret project that I'm doing. If you aren't all hyped up by now, then you should be. Just and I was thinking maybe I can start the picture of Dorian Gray depending on how much progress I make on the City of Brass. I'm going to see how I do with this, and then if it goes well, I might start the picture of Dorian Gray. So those are my plans for this evening. I will update you later on how it goes. I also wanted to share this cool app that I found. This isn't sponsored or promotion, a paid promotion in any way. I'm not being paid for this. My booktube videos aren't popular enough for me to be paid for them. But I found this really cool app, uh, which is just called Tasks, actually. Um, and it's basically a to-do list app which I love because I love making lists and it's so useful 
um since i have so much going on with like oh god <laughs> since i have so much going on with like recaptions booktube books of amber and like life stuff so i've been using this app for the past week and it's been really helpful so how how bright do you need this so you can see my camera would focus okay there we go so here you can see my lists i've got booktube Books of Amber, Recaptains, and my TBR. For my TBR, I'm not going to show you the rest of it, but this is what I've done, and you can tick off what you've, what I've read. Anyway, this is what I'm, this is how I'm using it. So this is my TBR. I've put the month before the title, and then, as you can see with the Dreamers, I've also put the date that it's released. So this looks like it's overdue, but I wasn't actually planning it to read it on release day. I was just, I needed. To write down when it was due so i've got january the city of brass january the dreamers once i've read those i'm obviously going to tick them off and then for my regular to-do list i've got recaptains books of amber and booktube so i need to fix the commenting reply to comments review a book come up with these posts write them um and stuff and i've also got an instagram tab because i'm coming back to instagram at some point i hope booktube i've got two tabs i've got booktube and then i've got ideas so in the first tab i've got what i need to do so i've got upload edit, record, and then also the dates as though they're the due dates. I can show you this, I guess. So the due dates of when I'm planning on uploading them. As you can see, I should be uploading one today. And then next to it, I also have ideas so I can flip between tabs and look at it that way. So I think this is a really cool app and I'm really glad I discovered it. It's been really helpful this week so far and I hope I will continue to use it. You can also share it and I was thinking about making like a grocery or life list as well because I just like lists you know, they're, they're fun and they help me organise. So that was that tangent and now I'm gonna go upload my video and read. Hi everyone, it's currently Sunday morning and I freaking did it. I finally finished Rosewater and I'm never touching that book again. I thought it was awful. Um, I don't understand why it's gotten so many good reviews on Goodreads. The majority of the reviews I've read are all five or four star. None of them mention the weird amount of sex scenes, none of them mention the fact that there's barely any plot, and none of them really mention the sexism either, so I'm going to just collect my thoughts on that and then review it in a wrap up, I'm not going to do a separate review video. So I finished that last night and I think I'm going to end the reading vlog about here because I've got some tidying up to do as it's Sunday and it's the only day I've had in the house all week. So I need to do some tidying, I need to edit this reading vlog and another video that's going up next week, and I also need to do a bit more reading. So I'm currently over 100 pages into The City of Brass, and I'm going to be reading that over the next hour or two, um, just to try and get through it a bit more while I'm wide awake, because I found that reading it while I'm tired isn't really the best way to go, because there's so much fantasy world building in there that it's a bit of a struggle. So I've got about 400 pages left, and I'm hoping to read about 100 to 200 this morning. And then I think I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm not too sure yet. Basically, I'm waiting to see Quill's at his volunteering thing. So when he gets back, I'm going to see if he either wants to go to the gym with me or if he wants to do a video with me. This will be his first time like recording a video and my first time videoing or recording in front of him. So it's, it's going to be strange, but we'll see. And then after I've read a few, hundred pages of City of Brass I'm going to read some of the picture of Dorian Gray like I said and then I'm going to start next week's reading vlog because this will be the end of this one thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video bye